Hey y'all, today Chris and I are going to show you how we make crock pot butter chicken. Oh, while having a whole lot of fun. Are you going to let me have some of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kitchen where we are cooking up recipes from recipes at crack.com and today we are going to make a super simple recipe that is just super handy to it's have. fast yes and it's versatile yes and it's delicious too yes so we are making butter chicken and so this is just an easy way to make shreddable chicken in the in the slow cooker and then you can freeze it you can make it into sandwiches you can use it in casseroles or you could just eat it as is because it's just that good yes mm -hmm. or or over salads too you can store in barbecue sauce if you want later on um but we like it the way it is and we like it as an easy way to make up chicken to go into like our casseroles and tacos and those kinds of things and it only involves three major ingredients minus your salt and pepper and that is two to three pounds of boneless skinless chicken we are using thighs because that's what we enjoy a half a cup of chicken broth and a half stick of butter cut into packs light up and so all you do is you throw in your chicken you salt and pepper it get it <laughs> a little salt from our salt pig Right over top, maybe a little bit more. Hot on. Then you just pour on the broth and butter evenly over the top. Yep. Little pat here, little pat there, little pat here, little pat there, little pat here, little pat there. Oh my goodness. A little pat here, a little pat ah. there. <laughs> so, with that, then it. Oh. Did you not pepper? Pepper. Oh my god. No, you are shoving butter in my face. <laughs> okay. So then this just go, goes on high for um, two to three hours or low for three to four hours until your chicken is shreddable. You know it's edible when it's shreddable. Well, let's clear our station out here. We'll be back yeah. in... Three, two, two one. one. And now we're back. Yep. With our butter chicken. It's been cooked up. What'd you say? About two, two and a half, three hours somewhere in there. On high. Yes. Yes. And so what what Mike's doing is he's pulling it out. Now generally what we probably do is take all the chicken out and throw it in our KitchenAid stand mixer to to shred it all really quickly. And it's better to do it when it's hot. So do it when it's fresh, because when it's hot, it'll fall apart really mm -hmm. easy, but rather than when it cools off and everything sets up in it. Because you got fat. You got fat in the chicken, you got fat in the butter. And when all that fat sets up, it's it's still edible, but then it's not so <laughs> So instead of pulling out the standalone mixer and having another dish that I'll have to clean up, look at this. Look at all, look. There's a slow cooker, there's a slow cooker, there's a slow cooker. There. They're all cooking stuff. Guess who gets to clean that up? Well, Addie, but still, I have to tell her to. But look at this. Look at this chicken. Two forks. I am barely laying my forks on there, and that chicken is falling apart. So this is super yummy, as is, you know, with maybe a side of green beans or... Mashed taters. Yes, and so it's great the way it is. Um, if you were going to freeze this, I would shred it all up return it back to the juices and freeze it in the juices. Oh yeah. The juices make an amazing like broth for like soups stock, yeah. and that kind of thing. And so that's that's what we do or a lot of times what we'll do is we'll make up a batch of this and then we'll throw the chicken into um, a casserole. Mm -hmm. and then, or a soup or chicken and noodles. Now you're just making me hungry. I got <laughs> all this food back here now I want chicken and noodles. Okay here we but go. Let's give it a taste test. Cheers. Cheers. Totally. That is, so, that is so easy. Fall apart, super juicy, super tender. Um, Buttery. Yes. Totally. And you say it kind of tastes like Thanksgiving turkey. Mm-hmm. It has a very, a very similar flavor to that. Mm -hmm. So, this is actually, um, we had cooked this earlier in the week too. Um, this is what I have for lunch today because it's just so yummy. Absolutely. It's what I'm having for lunch now. <laughs> Way later because 
I've been cooking. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. If you would like to become a member of our crock potting family, which we call the crock posse, just click subscribe down below. If you would like to be notified every time we upload a new video, click the little bell, Mikey calls the dingley, um, and that will notify you whenever we upload a new video. And in the meantime, give us a like. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, like this video. I'm trying to tell her what was going on. I'm like, I think you're just really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm eating butter chicken. <laughs> in the meantime, um, what what do we always say around here? Laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Bye. Are you gonna let me have some of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris and I are gonna show you how we make crock pot butter chicken. Can you edit that? <laughs> Make it better. No. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to beat you with my shoe. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're